All right, uh, welcome to another video series. Um, I haven't been giving this channel a, you know as much attention I should have, um, mostly because I've been super busy, but I think when I give a little bit more love to the channel, so uh, we're gonna do another clone video. This is probably gonna be the last one for, um, for the year because I, I have way too many things going on. But I got a little bit of time right now, so we're gonna do one. Uh, and that one is uh, Instagram. So if um, I'm sure everyone knows what Instagram is, uh, so um, it's where people post photos and um, you know uh, share pictures, and you can search for stuff and and send messages and whatnot. Uh, and we're not gonna do every single uh, feature. Uh, we're actually just gonna do um, a few things. We might, I mean, I feel like we covered how to do notifications and messages and other things uh, in other apps like Twitter. So I don't think it's kind of, to me, it kind of seems um, redundant to do these. Uh, but um, I think what we can do is uh, we can create a simple dashboard like this and um, allow users to to post uh, to post things. So uh, that's what we are going to do. We're not going to do a mobile. I mean, Instagram is primarily a mobile app, uh, but um, I am not a mobile developer, uh, so that's what we're not going to do. That we're just going to um, do this um, uh, web version. Uh, so that is what we are going to do. Um, all right, so let's get started. Uh, so I'm gonna start a new app called uh, Rails New, uh, Instagram Rails, um, the standard stuff. Uh, we are skipping uh, the test fr testing framework and we are setting PostgreSQL as the default framework. Just as a uh, reference, we're running Rails, I mean Ruby 3.2. Um, and I just installed it, uh, so this will probably take a while because it's installing all the required gems. And actually, I kind of messed up here, sorry. Uh, so I want to get rid of this, and I actually want to install Bootstrap to begin with. So uh, Rails new Bootstrap. Uh, and I think there is, yeah, you can just, yeah, so we just have to do this. So we'll pass in those. Parameters. And it should install everything. seeing these like red colors it makes you it makes it feel like something went wrong and now I'm gonna open up drill into the folder do our standard thing and we'll start up the server uh, and go to local host 3000 looks like we don't have the database created so we'll create that start up the server again and here we go we got everything running and now 
what we want to do is open up Visual Studio Code. It is so slow. All right. Um, and we'll open up the routes file and we'll define. What the hell is this? The root controller. We'll just print out hello world here and we'll reload and something went a little wrong so it says home controller index is missing a template for request formats um, I messed this up. Index home, home controller index. Is missing a template. I've never seen this error. Application controller def index home. Ah, whoops, I put this in layouts. We'll get rid of that. We'll say home say index.html.erb and we'll print out hello world and now everything should load and you can see that we got the typical bootstrap styles ready to go all right i'm gonna leave uh stop the video here and we're gonna continue on again like just like other videos the first few videos will be a little little boring because we're um, kind of setting everything up so I think in the next video we're gonna start setting up the um, the default uh, gems that uh, we're gonna be using so like testing gems factory bots those kinds of things so stay tuned for the next video and thank you for watching